I made all the videos I wanted to make. Now what? Maybe I should get back to my roots and make a game. A gotcha game. Something that some of you may already know about me is the fact that I am a very backwards individual. So when asked where do I start, I decided to hop straight into the end. Patrick Gibbs have servers, right? Welcome back to 2012 browser games. Thanks, Tom Holland and some random child. Now I just gotta figure out what data to send and to do that, I need a prototype. So here we have the game grid, look at this cube go. Now on the list of things I did implement, we had a few things I knew how to do, and the ones I didn't. I made passives before making skills. Now we're getting somewhere. Time to make a repository. I never used GitHub before. Then my brain decided to finally work and I decided to reuse the passive code for skills. But then I had changed this, change that, rework this, rework uh, that, don't forget yeah, that, change yeah. that. And now the cubes have skills. The code I had written before oh, turned out not hard. to be so bad, I guess I'll reu- <laughs> You wanna feel more motivated? I'm here to sell you this one step course on how to feel even more dread about not working on what you're supposed to be working on. Step 1. Find an image. Step 2. Open preferred image editing program. Step 3. Duplicate the layer and pixelate it by the power of 2. Repeat stuff till images cubes. Save the image in the image editor in JPEG format. Make this image your wallpaper. And every time someone sees your computer, they will question your sanity. Unpixelate one pixel when you do something towards your goal. Gamifying the things you do in such a useless way. You could be doing it, I don't know, fucking push up every time you do something. It's actually rewarding. So, I redo it all again. Oh look, I just have to click this tab and all my old files were here. <laughs> Honestly, I learned a lot doing this project. Like, more than I have learned in a while. And I did not expect to just have a week where I did pixel art, but I did. And after I slowly implemented every skill and everything I wanted, it was time. Now, you may be wondering, who is this little being? This little social awkward Amazon don't destroying bean is Somnid. The name is based on the name of a flower and is related to a lot of stuff about her character. It's a gacha game character name. You have to come up with something for your trope copy paste characters. That's all I have done now. Probably all that I will do since time is slipping out of my hands. And uh, for those who ask, hey, there's no gacha elements to this, uh, lullaby. 